I'd like to say I'm feeling less nervous now, but I'm not. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Um, so this spoken word piece is also an original, um, and it came out of my mixed feelings about starting on hormones and what that would do, because um, you never really know, and having grown up as a dyke, I was terrified of, of who I might become, and so um, this poem came out of that, and I was very, very fortunate as I was starting to transition to fall in love, and so this is about a girl. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Make it worse. <laughs> All right. So this is called "I'll Be Your Monster, Baby." <laughs> Take my paws and place these well-worn claws on your hips, between tusks and a bust that I fight to suppress. As you rest your head in the soft hollows of this world hard and hide, and guide me back with gentle fascination, inspired by the figure you allow me to embrace. This malformed guise that is mine. Cuddle close to my chest less than furry at best, and let these yellow eyes that tire but that'll never expire watch over you as you rest. You're safe here, inside my walls where you crawl, into the depths of thought and feeling I've spent my whole life concealing. Could your tenderness be any more revealing of these people I strive to please and the ease with which they destroy the man beneath? I built this muscle to keep at bay those who would venture to say that I would never be a real man. And yet with all the trouble I will go through just to pass as one of you, the reward is that as I fuse my image with yours, I have become the player in every woman's dark lane nightmare. But I will find peace in my misrepresentation of truth, pry back clubhouse doors to see the cages we wore, stealing light from those that we all strive to be. I'll be better than these monsters, baby. My rough hand on yours as we look through the doors we've broken along the way, Crossing lines that bind us to spectrums beyond F or M, we may never have been interested in the natural order of things anyway. Is it so strange that the moans from his and her lips, coupled with the motion from Z and Zer's hips, exist outside a place where our creative trysts do well to persist in this passive resistance of binary existence? Take the freedom from freak and make this unique situation more than just a case of guilty by association, because happiness is genderless, even if we're the only two who believe it. And for a moment, I can see it. I can see my reflection in the deep pools of your eyes as you look over these birth defects that I try desperately to hide. This scared little boy begs for you to be kind. Forgive my body, for it knows not how it betrays my mind. A mind that is put to rest, with knowing hands on my chest as my eyes engrave the curves of your hips and the taste of your lips over the awkwardness of this transitionary time.